For many years, we've been able to receive from architects and sometimes from engineers portions of their drawings in DWG format, the file format of AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT. Architects draw gen generically, meaning that their drawings do not usually reflect the actual rough opening requirement for windows and doors. By importing the architect's walls, these walls with actual rough openings were created. I rotated the floor plan 90 degrees to enable mirroring for reverse floor plan construction. Another example of the differences between generic drawings and actual requirements. Once all the rough openings have been accomplished, we can add the symbols or blocks for the king studs, posts, shear, and from that information, we can graphically figure window and door assemblies. Once those components are placed, it becomes very easy to add hold downs next to posts. Now we have exact placement with no guesswork. AutoCAD LT has a feature called Layer States Manager, which enables us to quickly change which layers are visible and thus we can draw everything on top of each other on different layers and discover any conflicts. We'll turn on the beam layers for this house. Again, using the Layer States Manager, we turn on the Joist Layout Layers. Circular or radius stairs are easy to do in AutoCAD LT. This method of top-down assembly has been successfully taught to many carpenters. Which has enabled them to produce great results. Another set of stairs, in this case an exterior set, 
It varied from instance to instance because of concrete placement. We modified the drawing for each lot in minutes and the issue disappeared. The structural beam was always hidden in the arch assembly under the stairs. Frequently, in high-end housing, multiple wall assemblies are required to accomplish the required architectural feature. By using the Layer States Manager, we can draw all of the items on their appropriate layer to make sure they fit together, and then, by turning some items on or off, we can see how to assemble each wall, all done correctly the first time. finished product. This deck assembly had seven drains, four plastered arches with what appeared to be huge detailed glue lamb beams. By drawing all of the parts ahead of time we found out how to actually save large amounts of money by eliminating most of the actual beams that were hidden in the assembly and of no value structurally. Drawing sections like this enables you to precisely communicate with your carpenters as to how many pieces and what they look like. No pickup. It turned out pretty nice, didn't it? feature added to AutoCAD LT in 2010 was the ability to import PDF format files directly into AutoCAD. In this case, I have used the engineer's PDF file as a base over which to draw joists, blocks, and beams. I developed this procedure as part of my paperless estimating service. Dynamic blocks have been available since version 2009. One object is easily changed to another shape, thus eliminating hours of drawing time to produce the information we need to build our homes. You can view how each of these components work on the Caddyshack website in the high-def video page. <laughs>